<laughs> I, uh, I think you guys know this lady, and we, uh, I just had the pleasure of, of meeting her. We were lunch buddies yesterday, and I, I mean, I love her already, and it, it, she was voted the best t-shirt wearer of the conference, yes? Everybody, please put your hands together for Bonnie Jean. I'm gonna put the stand over here because otherwise I'm sure I'll knock it over or something. So <laughs> this is the last wardrobe change in honor of uh, Miss Terry Foles. So yeah, <laughs> but tonight I'm gonna talk about my husband. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about my husband. Yeah. He drove all the way up from Louisville just to watch me make fun of him and I can do that at home. So I don't know what that's about. But um, he took a, his dream job in Kentucky. We live in Michigan, so I'm back at home with the kids. Um, no sense in pulling them out of the school year, you know. So we'll move down there in June. And it's all very 1950s. We line up at the threshold, and we wave by Daddy. Dab a cheer in our eye. Bye, Daddy. Bye. But it's really like sending him off to camp. It's just the old man version, right? So it's like, um, you got your toothbrush, right? Check. You, your medication? Check, okay. Your cell phone charger. Okay, check. All right, now listen. You got to eat a vegetable. You just have to. And, you know, fried okra doesn't count. And neither does green beans with ham. Because it's the South, right? There's no nutrition. <laughs> but it sounds, it sounds a lot more condescending than it really is. I love my husband. I love him very much. Um, he's just a house cat, you know? He, he doesn't. He doesn't have a hunt for his food anymore. You know, it's like we've been married for however long we've been married. I'm not that girl. Don't ask. <laughs> don't make me do the math. <laughs> I'm not that girl. All this man knows is that for however long that's been, I've kept his belly full and his balls empty. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's really the secret to a happy marriage, am I right? Yeah. Belly full, balls empty. That's right, that's right. All this man knows how to do is roll over and purr. And he's 42, so he purrs out his butt. <laughs> so he's a house cat. When I met him, he had, he had like massive multitasking skills. Undo my bra, one-handed in the dark. That's serious multitasking. But we're married, so you show up to that game naked. It's just like, that's it. And it goes both ways. Mama needs a sugar. I'm not going to work for it. The school of Bonnie is closed. <laughs> so, so now he's a house cat, and he's in an alley cat town. He's down in Louisville, Kentucky. Big city. It's the 15th largest city in the country. Who knew, right? I know. So he's, um, he's down there, and I start to get worried. Do I need to worry about him, like, going on the prowl? He's going to be away from me for months at a time. But he has no hunting skills, like I said. I, I stripped him of those when he said I do. You know? But I'm still worried because he's a sexy man. I mean, I, mean, I want him. <laughs> Other people want him. I have, I have confidence in my superior taste. So, so I think hypothetically, okay, worst case scenario, what could happen? All right, let's say, let's say I put him in a hotel room with a buck naked woman ready to go. Now she's ready to go, not him. I'm not gonna warm him up and send him off. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, so she's ready to go. And now um, we'll up the ante, right? So let's say she's got, she's got a cheesecake, right? <laughs> so my husband is going, how you doing? What you got there? You plan on eating that? No? No? He'll take a couple of bites. I'm sure it'll dawn on him that there's an opportunity there. Yeah. So do you dance? Yeah. No, I'm not worried. I think that's, I think that's pretty much where it's going to go. But then he turns up sick, right? He gets sick. And I know it's because he's not eating right. He's screaming for nutrition. So, but I digress. He's, he's sick. So he goes to the little local clinic, and he gets the medication, you know, the good shit, the, stu the, the stuff with codeine in it, the kind you sell to high school kids on the street, you know, the good stuff. And so I check on him the next morning. I'm like, hey, um, do, you, uh, 
how you doing? He's like, oh, I'm fine. I slept well. Um, I, didn't, I had a hard time falling asleep, though. I didn't really cut it, so I took an, took an extra dose. I'm like, wait a minute. You took an extra dose? I've never had a codeine-based product that allotted for an extra dose. I think they call that an overdose. <laughs> you don't take extra doses. <laughs> this is why women live longer than men. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for waking up, baby. So, so your job from now, because he's sitting right here, you're just not allowed to die between now and June. If you could just keep yourself alive till June, I'll take over when I get there. So, but I love him very much. I can't believe he came all the way up here to see me uh, make fun of him. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.